Now, thanks to you in just a little bit. Now, a pair of teams looking to break into the win column tonight, meeting in Martins Ferry. Purple Riders, they dropped their opener last week to Lisbon. Lindsley, in the meantime, fell at Steubenville Central. So one of these teams, obviously, will get win number one tonight. Terry Depew and the Cadets up 14-0 at the half. Third quarter, Martins Ferry, Chris Lovell. In for the score, and that cuts the lead in half, 14-7. Later in the third, Riders driving in Lindsley territory. Lovell, though, fumbles, and Lindsley jumps on it and recovers. So the cadets stop that Martins Ferry drive. Two plays later, Jason Piles gets an unbelievable block along that left side. We know how dangerous he can be. 64 yards and a touchdown. So after the turnover, it's back up to a 14-point Lindsley advantage. Fourth quarter now, Riders, fourth and 11. Jamal Murray. Putting it up. Billy Antill with the catch and the touchdown. 23 yards, 21-14, back to a seven-point deficit. Riders driving again in Lindsley territory, but Ryan Zan fumbles, and there's Piles with the recovery. Then, just a few plays after that, Piles is going to be intercepted by Mike Bartles. So we're playing turnover back and forth. Martin Sperry with the ball near midfield. And then on fourth and four, Martin Sperry... Billy Antill has stopped on a misdirection pl uh, play, and Lindsley would run out the clock. Lindsley gets its first win of the season as we take a look at the final. 21-14, Martin Sperry drops to 0-2. Before we start pushing the panic button, let's go back to two years ago. Martin Sperry also started 0-2 and then ran off nine straight wins. So it's... Uh, Let's not bury this team just yet, 0-2, losing tonight to Lindsley. Well, they're a talented team, and Dave Rooney said they will get better as the uh, year goes on. 21-14.